If you frequently create invoices in Excel, what you're about to learn will save you hours of work. We are going to build an automated invoicing system that fills in customer details from a drop-down, calculates totals and taxes automatically, and allows you to export the invoice as a PDF with a single click. Even better, the invoice gets saved with the invoice number and customer name in the file path of your choice. Once it's set up, you won't have to worry about it again. The first step is creating an invoice template, which you can find under Invoice tab. And next to it is the uh, Customer tab, where all the customer's details are listed. I have already done some formatting in the Invoice tab, but to follow along, you can download the same file from the video description. So far, we have handled the formatting, but we need to make the form dynamic. For example, in the Build To section, we will add a drop-down that automatically populates customer details based on the selected company. First, we will create a drop-down using a data validation for the list source. We will select all the customers. Now when you select a company, the details like address and email will appear using the XLOOKUP function. Once we've got the customer details working dynamically, we will move on to the invoice details. The invoice number is entered manually, but the date will auto update using the today function. The due date can be customized by adding a numbers of days. Next, we will handle products pricing and taxes. When there is no quantity, we will add an if statement to clean up the zeros. After that, we will work on totals. The subtotal will sum up the product cost, the taxes will be added, and the total will combine both. Now we will format everything for printing by setting the print area which can be tested with a quick print which using control P. Next up we want to create a button over the side that is going to export as PDF and so when we click it it's going to export this whole file as a PDF in one click but for this we are going to need to save it as a macro enabled workbook. We can do that by going to save as and then here is the save as type we want to go for the excel macro enable workbook. We will need to write some code and you don't need to worry if you never written code before as you can just follow along over to visual basic under the developer tab and just click on that 
This is going to open up this window. We go over to insert and click on module. You just need to follow along. Then what we want to create, what's known as a sub or sub procedure. And let's name this PDF. Now hit the blue play button and then save it as PDF macro. To make things even easier, we will add a button that exports the invoice as PDF. We will then link this code to the button. So whenever you need to export an invoice, just click the button. Let's go ahead and change the name. Click on export the PDF. see that we can have the second invoice generated it has the new invoice number with the new customer name we can open it up and you can see it looks fully updated with the exact format now whenever we receive a new invoice the steps are very clear and they are going to take us a very little time to complete in just a few minutes If you want to keep automating your work, be sure to check out more tutorials and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Excel tips.